Heaven, this is Shadow of 246 coming out of the shadows to talk to you about the uh, commission I got from Nico. Again, yay! Hi, Nico! Um, Nico asked for a uh, remake in my version of the Galaxy Pegasus. So, here's the version of my. Uh, my version of the Galaxy Pegasus. Um, as you can see, I I ended up uh, naming it because Nico didn't want to name it. Uh, she felt I would be the person to name it. So I named it Galaxy Wing Pegasus. The attack ring is called Galaxy Wing, and the face bolt is called Pegasus. This is probably the most laggiest creation I ever have made, so... <laughs> at the moment in time, so, Nico, you're one-upping uh, one upping me on lagginess, I can say that. Whew. This, this, this creation alone is probably the laggiest I have. But uh, let's let's zoom in here so we can see more detail. Here you can see the three wings. I went through uh, went for a six prong design. This is supposed to be a defense type, hence why it's much more smooth around the edges than it would normally be. So here are the hit points. It's supposed to be a smooth transition from one to the other. Uh, it's not too much of a hitter, but it is meant to be a defense type, so it's not got much power in the attack type. This is the um, spin track, and I have named it Galaxy Vortex. As you can see, I could probably do. I could probably do a whole bunch of slow motion action films on this page just because of how laggy it is. Holy crap! Anyways, um, this is it all together. It has one. Two, three, four, five, six, six um, clicks, and then on the seventh one, it'll burst. So, there's the burst, it bursted, going backwards, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, so seven, but six clicks, then on the seventh one, it bursts. But yeah, this is a very uh, beautiful design, time to show you the spin track behind the attack ring so you can get a better idea of what it looks like. Since um, the spin track is a four bladed system and this attack ring is a six bladed system, they don't exactly line up. So starting off As you can see right here, uh, let me put this into red. There we go. You can see the hitboxes I have to add to this to make it symmetrical. So, 
So here, as you can see, the blade sticks out here and here. And then all around, just small pieces. Clicking it once, it'll stick out a little here and a little here. Then it does the opposite on this half where it sticks out here and here. So it used to stick out here and here, but now it's here and here. And then it will rotate again, and this time it will alternate once again. It'll stick out here and here, and that's the pattern over there. Now you see it alternate here and here, but never here. That is due to the fact that its design sort of prevents it from doing so. Don't know why. Maybe it's the fact that it's square against a six-sided piece, which means one side will never, ever, ever see two pieces. Yeah, so that's the design. There you have it. And there you go. Uh, each one of these pieces right here that looks like metal is exactly metal. So this Beyblade is meant to have all the metal on the inner part. Uh, to create a heavy, heavier cent center of center of mass, so that way it can take a lot of hits, still keep on um, and not move anywhere. So this Beyblade is meant to be at the center of the stadium and have a crap ton of mass to it, so it's harder to hit away. Thank you, Nico, for the commission. This is Galaxy Wing Pegasus. <clears throat> and I thank you all for enjoying. If you did not, that's perfectly fine. Um, but thank you all. And leaving you all in the shadows. Bye!